Welcome to the Painkiller Piano Technique online course. Throughout this course, we are going to discuss about several concepts and I am also going to show you the movements because it is very interesting and very important for you to understand visually and it is also interesting for you to think uh, when I am playing in a way that you are going to imagine yourself playing in that way so it is very important for you to observe the movements and not exactly judge the movements it is more about observing the movements so that you are going to try to feel about how you are going to feel if you were playing like this and then by creating this visual image on um, how you are going to play like this you can start mimicking uh, with the repertoire that you have not necessarily by playing exactly the same things as I am going to play okay so let's go to the first concept relaxed hands fit better so this is a concept that is very interesting because as we start on the piano especially when you start playing chords it is very common for a student to try to grab a chord like this, like... So what is happening here is that the student is thinking about, so I have these notes here, so I have to create a kind of a shape in my hand, so I, I have heard that having this curved position of the fingers would be great and then I am going to try to fit my hands in a position that it is going to fit here to the keys and I am going to press down like this so I am going to play like this but as a matter of fact when you create this sort of thing you might feel pain in this articulation especially if we are talking about the fourth finger usually uh, the pain that comes in this fourth finger it is because you are too much on the tip of the finger so you should extend it more and this concept of relaxed hands fit better it means that you should first think about relaxing your hands so relax your hands as much as you can and then as you put your relaxed hands and you open your hand a little bit then this relaxed hand is going to fit into the keys so it is as if the keys are opening your hand in a position that you should play and this is also especially interesting for you to be able to play the notes together because a very common uh, problem that a lot of intermediate students have is to be able to play the notes together because as they try to play a chord they usually play like this you see so uh, what is the problem that is happening here well the problem is that as you try to grab the keys in a way that you have this curved position of your hand the problem is that each finger has its own size and it all, it, you know, all of the fingers have to reach the bottom of the keys at the same time and you have different heights uh, here because you have a white keys and then you have a black keys that are a little bit higher so in a way you, sh you, you, you must grab uh, have a position in which you are going to go a little bit downwards with this this note but this is a little bit higher than this because it is a black key and this it has to be exactly on the same height like this and this is like ex extremely difficult to do and when you try to do so and then you try to grab the keys you have this you know like the notes are not coming together so what you, we should think about is that we are going to put the hands in a such relaxed way that the fingers are going to fit into the keys and then it is just a matter of using an arm movement and not exactly the finger movement so it is not a matter of trying to grab the keys and trying to do something like this but it is you relax so much that you have your fingers here on the surface of each finger or of the each key that you are going to play and then you can use this sort of gesture as if you were painting or you can go forward as well which is something that also works so in this case it is very interesting for you to think about some sort of movement like this okay so it is very important that before you use the movement you are so relaxed that this relaxation is going to make your hand fit to the keys so it is a matter of putting putting your hands so relaxed 
that your hands are already here and then you use this arm movement the same thing for he for here because if you think like oh i have relaxed hand and then i am most suddenly going to play this um unless you are an advanced pianist you are probably going to miss the note because you still don't have exactly the shape that you need in order for you to be able to play this but it is very important for you to really try to feel the keys and in order for you to be able to feel the keys and let the um the fingers fit into the keys you need this relaxation so Then I can use this forward movement, so I am not going to use the on a corda here. I am going to play like this, and then I have a different sound, you know. So you can go forward as well. So, so different dynamics and different um, color just by changing the movements. So this is the first concept, see you in the next video.